If you already had a chance to close your browser or restart your computer, you most probably realized that when you started the application again, you get this nasty error here above the small basket in the left column. Now, this is uh, simply because I've misspelled one of the uh, properties here. Uh, if you have a look at the constructor inside of the basket.php file, which is inside of the classes folder, uh, our constructor contains empty basket uh, property, which obviously I misspelled before s, I put k rather than after s. If we save this, replace this, these letters obviously to make sure that they are exactly the same way as the, uh, as the predefined uh, property here in this class, go back to our page, refresh, you can see that everything is fine. But that's just perhaps you, you haven't made this mistake. I've just made it obviously while I was recording this video. Okay, now another thing we're going to be working now before we move to uh, creating actually the, the full basket is obviously when you click on the image or title of the of the product inside of the catalog, you get the error page. This is because we haven't created yet catalog e hyphen e uh, item page. So this is what we're going to create in this video. So copy the name of the file, go back to our editor, we can close the basket class, open pages folder and create a new file with the name catalog-item.php. Inside of this file, first we're going to start with the opening PHP tag and defining the variable ID. We'll assign the parameter populated from the URL. So it's going to be URL class uh, two colons get param and we're looking for ID. Now we're checking if isn't empty our new variable ID else we are going to require once the error page. So error.php. Okay. Now we are creating the object catalog and we assign the new catalog class to it. Now we are creating the variable product and we use our catalog object to get the get product is the get product method we're going to get the relevant product passing the id to this specific method then we will also need the category of this product so category equals same thing object catalog only this time we're going to call the method get category okay and what we're going to do is to pass the product and the category assigned to this product so category index okay now before we do this we need to make sure that we actually have found the product if we do this and the product won't be fine then this part here will throw the error so let's make sure first that the product isn't empty so if is an empty product so if we found the product then we're going to run some code else we do exactly the same thing as before which is we're going to display the error page okay so we have catalog uh, get category actually let's hide this these folders here for, for the time being so that it displays a little bit better now let's start with uh, require once let's require our header dot php and we can copy this and do the same for the footer footer dot php okay now in between the header and footer we're going to put some content but let's go back to our browser refresh and we can see that the page that the zero uh, message is now gone because we loaded the page obviously it's blank page because it only contains head and footer together with our column obviously but the page has loaded so now it's time to put some content in so let's start with echo and in between the double quotes let's start with the h1 tag catalog then space two uh, columns and we're going to concatenate this with category and name of the category 
then dot to concatenate with a closing h1 tag and semicolon right at the end. So this is our heading, which will be the cat uh, cat catalog and category name. Then we're going to try uh, to find the image. So image variable equals if is an empty product image. Then the path will be media forward slash catalog forward slash. And then we're going to concatenate this with our image and our product image otherwise we'll display nothing which simply means uh, we return null okay now if we copy the name of the variable and we check if is an empty image then we start with the width equals helper class and we use get img size method then we pass as the first parameter image and zero as the second one now just so so you remember if we go back to our uh, classes folder open helper and have a look at our our get image size function Second parameter is a case, which will zero will give us width, one will give us the height of the image. First one obviously is the path to the image itself. So if we close this, uh, then we have obviously width. We can close this browser as well here. Now uh, we start with the width again, and first we check if width. Uh, with is more than 120 then we want this to be 120 otherwise we'll leave it the way it is